What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Expanded Thursday, and today we're going over the Vessel Queen Battle Plume deck that I used to get second place at Cities last weekend. Andrew Wambo actually made this list, and he piloted it to top eight, and he had a friend as well who got second place with the same list. So three people playing the same deck, and we all made cut. I'm not sure if there was anybody else who made cut, but two seconds and a top eight is nothing to laugh at. It obviously shows it's a great deck, and out of three of us, we all make cut. But let's go over the deck. It is kind of a straightforward deck, and if you want to read about Andrew's tournament report, once again, there'll be a link down below in the comments so we can read the expanded version, and I'll also leave a link to the standard version so you can see both those lists and read about them if you want to. Now, your main attacker is going to be Vespa Queen. Uh, it's actually not Vespa Queen, and I'll explain why that is in a second. It has the attack B Revenge, and it's going to do 20 and then 10 more damage for each Pokemon in your disc or pile. We've seen this card multiple times, but this time it's partner with somebody else. It is partner with a Vile Plume. So Vile Plume says each player can't play any item cards from his or her hand. Now, just that ability by itself shuts down so many decks because so many decks are item reliant. And if you do get the Vile Plume down turn one, most decks just scoop. Like, maybe not scoop, but they're definitely like in a very, very bad situation. Uh, the deck plays three Shamans to help set up. You play one Bundle Bead to use Burrow and a Rototiller. Uh, for the most part, you use a Rototiller to get a card out of your discard pile into your deck. And it does have the Barrage trait, which you can use the attack twice. And the deck also played Execute. Since this is expanded, you can use Execute. It does have the ability Propagation once during your turn before you attack. If this Pokemon is your discard pile, you may put this Pokemon into your hand. And you can use this ability over and over again to help out with Ultra Balls and or Computer Search. It's a really, really good card. And it plays two unknowns for Farewell Letter. If this Pokemon is on your bench, you may discard this Pokemon and all cards attached to it. And you draw a card. You play one Drachi for Stellar Guidance when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench. Search your deck for a supporter card and put it into your hand. And obviously that just helps you out get out your supporter cards. Guarantees it. And now your main attacker is actually going to be Mew EX. Mew EX has the ability of Versatile. This Pokemon can use the attacks of any Pokemon to play both yours and your opponents. But you still need the necessary energies to use its attack. So... What we're going to do is we're going to versatile copy Vessel Queen's Beer Revenge and take knockouts that way. Uh, Mew does have what, 30 more HP, so it doesn't get knocked out e as easy. And when Mew gets knocked out, you actually don't you lose an attacker. You just lose Mew, and you still have Vessel Queen ready to use uh, later on in the game. Like, you could lose two Mew EXs, that's four prize cards, and then lose two, uh, two Vessel Queens, and that's how they win the game. Um, so that's something cool that you could do. Usually when your Vessel Queens get knocked out, you have to Rototiller back into the deck. But since you have the Muse, you can just copy Vessel Queen to save your Vessel Queens for being knocked out. And that's all the Pokemon in here. Now, Andrew, I actually played two days with this. And day number two, he did switch some cards around. If you want to read to see what cards he switched around, I'll leave those a mystery. Go click the link down below. You can see what cards he edited to help out in certain matchups. Now that's all the Pokemon in here. Let's go over the trainers and uh, the three supporter cards. So you play four Acrobatic. Look at the top two cards of your deck. Put one in your hand. Discard the other card. Four Battle Compressor. Discard three cards out of your deck. Shuffle your deck afterwards. One Computer Search just for consistency. Discard two cards from your hand. Search your deck for a card and put it into your hand. Two Love Ball to search out with, for a Pokemon with 90 HP or less. Which can be Gloom, Oddish, Execute, Vesequin, Combi, Bunnelby, Drachi, and Unknown. They all have 90 HP or less. Uh, four Trainer Smell. Look at top four cards of your deck. Reveal a Trainer card you find in there. Three Ultra Ball. Now you might be saying, why doesn't it play a fourth Ultra Ball? Well, basically the Computer Search can be an Ultra Ball. Uh, the list is kind of tight, so uh, you just kind of, you know, in Standard, if you were to play this in Standard, you would... Switch the computer search to an Ultra Ball, and vice versa for Expanded. Now, the deck only plays three Sycamore, and that might seem crazy, but you gotta remember, you play Acrobikes, you play Battle Compressor, you play Trainer's Mode, you play Ultra Ball. The whole point of the deck is turn one, you're gonna burn, like, 30, 40 cards out of your deck, and then with that, you're gonna have, you know, just, like, 20 cards, maybe 10 cards left in your deck, and you should be okay. Four Dwarfs, four, <laughs> four, four, 
Oh my goodness. Four forests of giant plants. Each player's grass Pokemon can evolve during his or her first turn. They are played down. This can let you get the turn one Vile Plume into play to, regarding if you go first or not. Two Floatstone. And the reason why you play the two Floatstones is you want to put these onto an Oddish before it evolves into Vile Plume. If you notice, everybody has like, uh, you know, you either an attack or they have a, okay, except Bunnelby. Everybody else has a one or zero retreat cost. Uh, Bunnelby does have a two. Uh, you do have to commit a DC to retreat it. Shaman has one, but you can just sky return it back into your hand. Best McQueen has a zero retreat cost. Um, execute, uh, you're never going to put that down. One Jirachi has one retreat cost. Uh, two Mew, which you're attacking with. Two Unknown. Which you could uh, attach a DC to a tree. And, but as soon as you put Unknown down, you should just Farewell Letter so that way it's not on the bench so it doesn't get Lysander. But if you look, Vile Plume has a 3 retreat cost. So if somebody Lysanders up your Vile Plume and just passed, you have to attach 2 DCs to retreat the Vile Plume. Uh, so that's always something scary. If you don't have a, a, a Flowstone on the Vile Plume, you could be in trouble. And of course, 4 DCs. And that's the deck. It is pretty much straightforward. You're going to Battle Compressor. Discard, Oddish, Gloom, Vile Plumes, Vessel Queen, Combi is away. Uh, the most you ever need in a game is two Vessel Queens uh, in Expanded. Maybe in Standard, it might be a little bit different. And also, you could Battle Compress away a your Glooms, uh, Oddish, and Vile Plume. Because you really only need one Vile Plume to play at any time. But hopefully you enjoyed his deck, and let's see the, uh, hopefully enjoyed the deck, and let's see it in action. Alright, we're putting against Mario Gamer playing a Steel Psychic. Very colorless. We'll call heads like always. If we won the coin flip, that's great. Maybe we have the opportunity to get the turn one Vile Plume. Of course, we want to go first. And on to our turn. Let's see what happens. What can we get into? All right. Uh, we'll start Oddish. And let's see what happens. Uh, there's a Spritzy. We'll put Force of Giant's Plants down. We'll use Battle Compressor. And with the Battle Compressor, we will discard... Um, let's see. We're going to discard an Oddish, an Egg, and an Oddish. Alright. What we're going to do is we're going to Acrobike, uh, grab a Shaman. We will then Trainer's Met, oh, Battle Compressor. And, and the reason why I did the Acrobike first is because if we drew it to an Ultra Ball, we might want to uh, Ultra Ball away the Battle Compressor instead. And with this, let's see if there's any more Oddishes in the deck. Um, there is not. So what we're going to do, um, how many combies are in the deck? That's the next question. There's one, two, three, uh, four. So we'll discard one combi, one Vespa Queen, and how many Vile Plumes are here? One, two. All right, so two. We're not going to discard a Vile Plume because that could be trouble. Uh, we'll discard just those two. We really don't want to discard anything else. That is a little bit scary. Put down Trainer's Mel. Let's see what we can get. A Sycamore. That's a good card to put in our hand. We will then play Shaman. Drawing up to six cards. We get down a Mew. We can play Trainer's Mel. Let's see what we can get. A Battle Compressor. Uh, we'll keep that in the deck right now. We'll put a DC on Mew. And we'll Sycamore. Discard your hand. Draw seven new cards. Alright. We get down a Combi. We can... Use the Acrobike, and we'll get. Oh, that's a bad two cards. Um, we'll get the. Tr we'll get the. Uh, we'll get the Trainer's Mel. Yep, we'll grab the Trainer's Mel. Uh, we'll then play the Trainer's Mel. And let's see, we'll grab the Ultra Ball. All right, and with this, we will actually Propagation. All right, and what we'll do is we'll Ultra Ball, discard Egg and Bunnelby. Grabbing another Shaman. Hopefully it's in there. It is in there. Okay, so grab a Shaman. We could grab a Gloom. Um, let's see, is Flowstone in the deck? That's another question. One Flowstone. Okay, both Flowstones are in the deck. So we'll grab the Gloom. We'll then play down the Gloom. Um, we will Propagate? I'm... No, no. What would... Yeah, we'll Propagate. Yep. From all propagation. And what we'll do is we'll battle compressor, uh, discard more glooms out of the deck, and we'll ultra ball discard the foul plume. Or do we discard the foul plume? I, I need to see. I can't remember how many are in our hand. Let's see. There's one left in the deck, yes. So we're going to ultra ball discard foul plume and egg. We will then grab a shaman. Okay, yep, we'll grab a shaman. 
All right, and these turns take forever too. The first turns are always the worst. Uh, Battle Compressor will then discard a Gloom, a Gloom, and is there another Gloom? There is not another Gloom. So we discard those two guys. Press done. Oh, we probably should discard Battle Compressor as well. Uh, play Shaman. Draw up to five. Uh, play the Loveable. We'll grab an Unknown. Okay. Play the unknown with we'll Pharaoh letter number one. Yes. Let's see what we can get. A love ball. Okay. Uh, we'll love ball for Vespa Queen. All right. Come on down, Vespa Queen. That's good. We'll put that down and then we will Pharaoh letter once again. Draw one card. What can we get? Hopefully something good. Uh, a Acrobike will play it. Uh, we'll grab Battle Compressor. And we'll play the Battle Compressor, and we will discard um, a Combi. A um, uh, Combi, Mew, and that'll be it. Just those two. All right, and we'll shame it. Draw it up to three. Hopefully, we can get it. And as you see, now we're going to be in kind of a weird situation. Oh, we, oh, man. Okay, so we're going to... Oh, <laughs> oh no! That's such a bad hand. <laughs> we had so many outs to get the valve form in the flowstone. Okay. Uh, well, we're just gonna pass. Um, yeah, we're just gonna pass. They're gonna have a turn of supporter cards or I mean, item cards, but next time we can start taking knockouts. We're doing 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 70, 80, 90. 100, 110, 120, 130, 140. 150, 160. Okay, we're doing 160. We see a fairy just go down a spritzy. Uh, I just can't believe we whipped both the uh, Vile Plume and the Floatstone. If we would have got either one, we would have been okay. Well, let's see what my opponent can do. Uh, Shauna. Oh, they actually need another Pokemon or they'd be in trouble. Uh, let's see what happens. We see a Xerneas comes down. And we might see a retreat into the Xerneas. But what will we top deck? Oh, we see a fairy win for just 10 damage and on to our turn. All right, let's see what happens. We are definitely on a clock right now. We see a trainer's mail. That's not, well, I guess that's okay. Well, trainer's mail grabbing a full stone. We will then, uh, let's see, we'll propagate. All right. And we'll, we'll computer search, discard Jirachi and an egg. And with this, we'll get out Vile Plume. It should be in the deck. There it is. Oh, man, we only have two turns. It's going to be rough. We'll put down the Floatstone. We'll put down the Vile Plume. We will then retreat into the Mew. And we will uh, use Be Revenge for the knockout. And it does 170. So next turn, we can knock out Xerneas. But the big question is, will they have more Pokemon? There's another Vile Plume coming in our hand. There is a Xerneas coming up. And let's see what can our opponent do. We have two cards left in our deck. There's a Fairy Engine going down to the Xerneas. And do they get another Pokemon down or not? And just a pass on to our turn. Even though we whiffed. Actually what we're going to do is we're going to Sycamore. Discard three more Pokemon. We're going to do 200 damage. And we are going to be Revenge for the knockout. And there we go. Alright. So my opponent was kind of unfortunate. Didn't get another Pokemon down. They did get two. Um, but I mean... I don't know if they got that one more Pokemon who could have be revenged as well. Um, and then we would have decked out if they would have put down another Pokemon. So a fairly close game, or not not a close game, a fairly bad game for us. We didn't hit the Flowstone, we didn't hit the Vile Plume. We just almost had bad luck. We almost had bad luck, but we still made the win. But we'll see one more game with the deck here in a second. Alright, we're putting against Asmar something. I'm not sure how to say a name. Uh, but let's see what happens. Hopefully we'll go first, uh, get the items shut down, and we'll call heads like always. Come on. And no, we lost the coin flip. So they will have a turn of item guards, and let's see what happens. All right. Oh, we're actually, we're going first. I like it. All right. And let's see what happens. I'm not sure what we're playing against, but our opponent opted us to go first. We'll put down Combi, and we'll press done. And let's see what happens. There's a Mewtwo. Oh, man. So we get a DCE. We get Ultra Ball, Discard, Egg, and, and Kobe. All right. With this, we'll grab a Shaman. Let's see something. One, two, three, 
Okay, one vile plume, two vile plume. So one vile plume is prized. One, two, three glooms. And how many vessel queens? We have one, two, three, four. All four in there. One. Sorry. Two, three. Yeah. Okay. It's always important to count how much resources you have in these decks um, because you don't want to actually discard the wrong card. I'll uh, grab Shaman EX. Put down unknown. Play Shaman, draw on four cards. Yes. Show me Forest of Giants Plants. There we go. Um, we'll put down Forest of Giants Plants. Put down Vessel Queen. We'll then Acrobike. We're looking for an Oddish. Oh my goodness. There we go. So we've got the Oddish. We'll put down the Oddish. Put down the Floodstone. And we will Sycamore. Discard your hand. Draw seven new cards. I don't know if we need the Bundle be down or not. But we're not putting down regardless. Uh, we got a computer search. We could discard Oddish and Gloom. And we have an option. Uh, we can either get our Battle Compressor or a Shaman. I'm actually going to go for another Shaman. Yes. Okay, so grab a Shaman. Uh, put a Flowstone on a Shaman. Put down a Gloom. We will Shaman for six. Yes. All right, we got a Battle Compressor. With Compressor, we can discard Gloom, uh, Gloom, and an Oddish. You then proceed to put down Cone Beam. Use Level Ball. Get out a Vesper Queen. So we got two Vesper Queens down turn one, which is great. Uh, we will then Acrobike. And let's see what the Acrobike gets us. Uh, Battle Compressor for sure. We'll use that guy. And let's see what we can discard. Uh, we will discard. A Vile Plume. A Vile Plume. Because we don't need any more Vile Plumes. And that might be it. Uh, we need the Mew. We might need the Vespa Combi. We'll just discard Battle Compressor. We'll then put down Vile Plume. And uh, we'll Feral Letter. Oh, we should have put that. We should have Feral Letter first before Vile Plume. Whoops. Oh, well. Alright, we got a Combi. Uh, we'll just pass. Like, we really can't do anything. Can this knock us out? Nah. All right, so we'll just end our turn. So we got the Turbo Vile Plume. We got Double Vessel Queen. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 Pokemon in the discard pile. So we are doing 140 to the Mewtwo. And we see my opponent scoop the game. That's what usually happens if you get the Turbo Vile Plume that way. And we get a mystery prize. Let's see what we get. And don't worry, we'll see one more game with the deck here in a second. That was a successful turn one. That's everything you wanted. And next turn we have a second more to play it. Probably drawn to Mew, a DCE, and Versatile uh, for Intelligence Gathering. And let's see what this mystery prize gets us. Hopefully it's something good. Come on, don't let us down. Ah, two tournament tickets. All right, but we'll see one more game with the deck here in a second. It's really not that fun to watch because, like, if you get down on Bile Plume and Best of Queen turn one, you pretty much win. If you don't, then I, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But we'll see one more game with the deck here in a second. All right, we're putting against Daniel 040s. Six, uh, playing some kind of dragon, dark. It was a bunch of different colors. I'm not really sure what it is. And let's see, what are we playing against? They're called the coin flip. And let's see, do we go first or not? And no, we lost the coin flip. Uh, but they might have. They'll have a turn of using item cards, and maybe we'll get the turn two vial plume. We'll see what happens. Uh, usually, you know, it seems like a turn with vial plume is really easily easy, but you know, sometimes you just don't want to get it out. All right, see, like, right now we have the potential to get a turn with Vile Plume, but we actually don't want to get that because we'll be in a really bad situation. Uh, okay, we'll put down the Oddish, and we'll press Done, and let's see what happens. They did have the advantage. Uh, there is a Dino. Okay, okay. All right. Not sure what the Dino is going to do, but we'll find out together. <clears throat> uh, we see a Parallel City coming down. Which we can only have three bench Pokemon. That doesn't really matter. Servers are going along, uh, going for approximately five minutes. Oh no. Okay, so this game is guide to count. Their servers are about to go down. Uh, we'll see what happens. We see a Skyla, and uh, let's see what the Skyla gets them. Could be anything. Uh, but if they don't get down. Another Pokemon, they're going to be in trouble. We could probably dunk this Dino. It does only have 60 HP. Uh, 20, 30, 40 right now just sitting. Um, so it, we could dunk this Dino pretty easily, which does happen a lot. You can dunk some basic Pokemon turn one if they don't 
put down another Pokemon. If they receive a fan club, which they can't use that, they can't play double supporter. In our turn, let's see what happens. We top deck a love ball. So we will love ball getting out of combi. Alright. We'll put the combi down. Uh put a DC on it. I'm not gonna go for the mute because it is weak to a uh, resistance to psychic. We will computer search, discard vile plume and a gloom. We will grab a force of giant plants. No, grab a sycamore. Yes, that seems better. Uh, grab a sycamore, play the acrobike, and let's see what two cards we get. A forest of giants plant. Alrighty. So put the forest of giants plants down, and we'll shave a drawn up to six. Or drawn yeah, up to six, so, so we get five cards. We get a gloom. Uh, we'll trainer's mail. Let's see what we can get. We'll grab a floatstone. That's that's perfect. Uh, put a floatstone on the active. We will Ultra Ball, discard Unknown, and Mew. Usually you don't want to discard these two, but we're just going for the knockout. Do we have the knockout right now? 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. We do have the knockout, uh, but we're just going to go with the Shaman. We're going to keep the party going. We're going to keep on going. Uh, so grab a Shaman. We're going to see how much damage we can do turn one. Shaman drawn up to six. All right, we can Battle Compressor. Discard Combi. Combi. And another combi. It'd be funny if we miss it. We'll grab Oddish. Yeah, we'll discard those three. Uh, use Acrobike. Grabbing a Battle Compressor. Oh, man. If we whiff it, I'm going to be sad. Uh, battle Compressor. And let's see if we can discard. Uh, we'll discard. Let's see. Oddish. Oddish. And Gloom. That seems fine. All right. We'll play uh, Sycamore. Discard your hand. Draw 70 cards. Do we get the Valaplume or not? Our Vesta Queen, alright, we got a Battle Compressor. And with Compressor, we can discard a Valplume, Jirachi, and a Mew. We'll use Unknown, Farewell Letter, uh, discard it, and let's see what we can draw into. A Trainer's Mail, we'll play Trainer's Mail. Alright, we'll grab an Ultra Ball. And with Ultra Ball, we'll discard Valplume and the Force of Giants Plants. And let's see what we can get out of the deck, we'll grab a Vesta Queen. We'll put the Vessel Queen down, uh, play Shaman, draw some more cards. I don't even know if there's any more Pokemon left in the deck, but we can uh, actually deck ourselves out, maybe. Uh, we'll play Trainer's Mel, grabbing an Ultra Ball. I'm not even sure if we can Ultra Ball for anything. Uh, we'll Love Ball, grabbing nothing. What are our four cards? Uh, I don't know if we can play it out or not. Uh, yeah, the party's pretty much over. We'll Ultra Ball discard these two, grabbing nothing. And we're going to be revenge. I'm not even sure. No. 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 We were going to be revenge for a lot. Uh, but we do. <laughs> we do get a mystery uh, mystery prize. So uh, there we go. We were going to get the turn one knockout on Vesta Queen. There was only four cards left in our deck. I'm not even sure how many Pokemon were, uh, were being discarded. Uh, the servers will be going offline for maintenance momentarily. Uh, so that is... Another game with Best Queen Battle Plume, and we'll see if this is the last game or not. If the game is, if this, if the servers come back online, you probably won't see this game. But if not, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great Thursday. You can kind of see the power of Best Queen Battle Plume. If you just get the turn one Battle Plume, you can easily just win the game. Uh, that one, we didn't get the turn one Battle Plume. We could have, but we we're definitely just trying to see how much damage we could do with a donk. Uh, but thanks for watching. Hope you have a great Thursday. Alrighty, bye. Oh yeah, we gotta see what our mystery prize is. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let's see if we can see our mystery prize or not. And we get an Ancient Origins pack. Uh, press done. Can we open it up? Can we open up the Ancient Origins pack? Pokemon, don't let me down. Don't let me down, Pokemon. Uh, we got a collection. And let's see if we can open it up real quick. Uh, it was an Ancient Origins pack. So let's see. Uh, packs. Uh, it should be a... Oh, it's not even locked. Uh, we'll just open up one Ancient Origins. Don't pay attention that there's 55 of them. Uh, we'll open it up and let's see what one pack of Ancient Origins gets us. Hopefully it's something good. Oh, a Combi. Oh, perfect. And four is a Giant's Plant. Come on, Vessel Queen. Oh, an Entei. Wrong Entei. But there we go. All right. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. All righty. Bye.